I am so glad that hitting the checkpoint recovered my health. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hooray! Is it really that much of a hurry? Quick, quick! I'm not so sure it's that much of a hurry in all honesty. I mean, I guess we could take a look inside, but... Mm, eh, I suppose. So there's our marker. Little beacon there. But the chapter doesn't end when you hit that beacon. Look up. There's a moon up there. We can't leave without that moon! <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to give you that little bit of atmosphere there before I take a look-see around the perimeter here really quick, because there's uh, just a couple of collectibles we've seen from a distance as we were going around there, like the... Um, the powers of the star it's way up over at the peak. So let's go ahead and grab this frog. I just want to look around the sides, okay. And yeah, with the powers of the frog too, you got one heck of a jump. Oh, pff, I hit my head on the little edge. Of course. Of course I did. <laughs> Mario and Cat Peach hanging out over here. This is actually a I, was gonna, I thought there was a health upgrade or something like that, but anyway. <laughs> Just keep going, we gotta get those star bits! No stopping until those star bits are ours! Every last- wow, that was perfect landing, every last one of them. There's a hole up underneath that bell, but hold on. Gimme, get, get- hold your- hold the button! Hold the button, yep. <laughs> it's just like that poison signpost. And, except that there's an indicator that there's something there. A tip of a white spire is ours. Alright, let's continue looking. Looking. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a little, like, an alcove that you could hang out in and have a good time. But nah, there's nothing really there here. But I guess I should go and get that moon now, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? I think I should. So this bowl is uh pretty big. Very big in fact. Anyway, let's go down here. Remember we jumped down we came through the wedding hall before, yep. That's how you get this moon, but you gotta do a little little fancy full movements here. And there we go! Up in the rafters. There's even moons hidden up in the wedding hall. Who would have guessed? So now I just want to do something here really quick. Because I may have ruined the moment when I came through here before and went back out to get that moon and m among other things. Let's just pretend that we're here for the first time and go up to the wedding hall. Here we go. End game, peeps. In we go. So atmospheric. Hey, uh... Anyone in there? Hey! Hey! Open the door! Hey, guys! Uh, that probably won't open the door for me. Let's just barge our way in there. Ha! There they are! That's <laughs> like the post the ring on Pete. <laughs> I love that. What is going on in this place? <laughs> it appears that they've been, uh, some, well, invited guys that don't really want to be here. <laughs> awful, awful, awful. <laughs> it's Pauline here, just in time. Yes, as usual. I told you there would be plenty of time to save them. Well, there was really no other way to save <laughs> To do as much as you want before reaching here, you'll, it'll be just fine. There's plenty of time. If you'd like, you can even wreck the tables a little bit with the stupendous stew, but not too much. You don't want to ruin this. Don't want to ruin this place too badly. But anyway, let's go ahead and approach them. Hello, my f old nemesis. Oh. It's like on a volcano back there, by the way. The stew. With the cake toppers as well. Oh! 
This is Mario 64's first Bowser area all over again. Down is death. Or not again. What the hoop? Oh! Now here is a rematch of the century. She's <laughs> attached by the wedding ring. Whoa! <laughs> Crashing the wedding, Mario? That's tacky even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters since you weren't invited. Now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. Get ready, Mario. Let's do it. Final battle. Here's your happily ever after. So as before, take over his hat. But don't think it's gonna be as easy as it was last time, because he's got some new tricks, he's got some new attack patterns, still got those silly looking, <laughs> silly looking balls of rocks. Attack! And he starts immediately with the tail swipes, so you can tell something's definitely up attack pattern-ish. Look out for the fire, watch his body language. And he's gonna turn around. Holy poopers, I mistimed that badly. <laughs> That's okay. We got two health and we know how to use it. Aim for the white one, not the darkish purpley ones. There we go. I got the hat late, but that's alright. Start closing in. Dodge the shock waves of fiery doom along with. Oh ho! Oh! <laughs> They leave trails of fire, if I recall correctly. Ugh! Attack! Oh! That's right, you switched it up there, my bad. <laughs> I forgot about that. Should've been watching the body language a little better. Don't worry, Bowser, I'll give you a good fight, I swear it. <laughs> Attack! I'm try it again. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Two swipes, you're out! And third cycle is on fire! Okay, just stand in one place, wait for his body to come around. Oh, jeez! Oh! <laughs> one health! One health! Okay. <laughs> oh, no, this is not good. The hats have been multiplying like rabbits. Yes! I was aiming for that hat, and I got that hat. Keep your eye on the prize, and there's nothing that can stop you except flaming big shells! Maybe! <laughs> Attack! I think he's gonna tail swipe three times this time. Mm. And, oh, another tail swipe! And he's off balance! Victory! At least I hope. It really is Super Mario 64 all over again. Oh, dang that low health beep. Oh! Um. Uh oh. Something's going on. Oh, jeez, this is not good. Oh, very bad. Extremely bad. Save Peach again. Or everyone dies. Even Bowser. Oh. Uh oh. Ha! Oh, jeez. Things are falling apart. Not good. Not good. Uh, yeah, Peach seems okay. Bowser looks a little dazed. What are we gonna get to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do. The wall over there looks impenetrable. Unless. Woo! And suddenly, flashbacks of all my walkthroughs! <laughs> we are Bowser! Alright.
fight. Yes. Let's do it! Escape sequence, Metroid style. It's a go! We even got a health <laughs> recovery. Why do you attack? B to jump! Let's get out of here! Everything's falling apart! Destroy the walls! This is, this is so awesome! <laughs> Any yellow blocks, well I should say like golden blocks there, are falling away, so you do not go for them. Look out for explosions of rocks that go in four different directions. Beware, be careful in all that jazz. Just be, don't fall to your doom. We're at the end game now. We can't afford to lose. Oh jeez, everything's blocking me in. Okay, we're good. We're good. I was gonna explore the area a little bit, but that that block is a lot larger than I remember it. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, eight bit time, is it? So we're gonna transform into Mario, right? No! <laughs> Breathe fire with the Y button. <laughs> We are truly Bowser in every sense of the word. Yes! <laughs> One of my favorite sequences in the entire game is this takeover of Bowser Park. It's just sensational. <laughs> I mean, come on, how could this not make you smile? It's impossible. <laughs> I could break through the blocks, I could jump over the blocks, but I absolutely have to break through these walls. I have no other choice. I just gotta keep going. This place is falling apart. Zeb's is gonna explode. Oh, what the poop is- oh, There's this really bright wall! What the? Song with lyrics number two, begin! I see the outside, we're almost there! <laughs> we gotta make it! We gotta do something about this! But what can we do? This this block is completely impenetrable in the center. Well, there's these things over on the outside that we can break. So what do you say we go ahead and try that? Ah, that seems to have caused a little damage. So maybe we should repeat that pattern a few times. Again, locked out for the falling rocks as you go because there's danger around every corner or every block and I took the wide way around there just so I have more walking room because I see kind of kind of don't want to mess up the middle area you'll know what I mean once I reach that point let's just put it that way and all right oh gee see there's a lot of blocks that seem to have uh, gone the way of the dodo Oh jeez, this is really truly coming to the end of the end game here. Yes, and it's falling apart. Quick, get to the middle. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. See if you knock out those blocks ahead of time by mistake, you might might have difficulties if you have to take a detour to avoid rocks or something like that. <laughs> so just be careful of that and smash that block with your claws. Jump at power line <laughs> and hold L. Woo! That was awesome. Just pure awesomeness. But the awesomeness doesn't end with that. Urgh! All right, we made it. Whew. Hmm. Oh my. Woo. And thus the day is saved, thanks to Mario and Cappy. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Can't let this happen! Love battle! <laughs> Bowser was stood up to by Peach! Hey, 
Wait, what? Uh, um... That's my ride! I'm on the moon, you know! Peach, I just saved you! And that's a Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I told you the awesomeness was didn't end <laughs> with that Bowser sequence. We have finally seen Peach stand up to Bowser and say enough is enough. Stop it. I'm not dealing with this anymore. <laughs> Mario 2 in, in that love fight scene to boot and then she runs. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Mario was able to catch up but Bowser appears to be stuck there. So these are of course the credits. I did not make the game that these awesome people did, I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. And believe it or not, the post-game, there is so many more moons that get unlocked in the post-game. Holy poop. You like, you know how many moons I got with all the parts that I did so far? Not even half of the game's unique moons. And when I say unique moons, I mean excluding buying multiple moons from the shop. It's crazy how much content this game has. And post-game stuff is even harder than main game stuff, like the stuff that gets unlocked. So you can imagine that some things are going to take a little bit longer than your typical moon to even collect uh, because of the sheer difficulty of it. I, I don't know how well I'll do on a replay of the game, but we shall see when we get there, I suppose. <laughs> it's going to be fun and I will collect every single unique moon in the game. Not to mention the purple coins. Uh, probably starting the next part, I'm going to re-begin... Well, actually, no, I shouldn't... I shouldn't spoil things by the next part, let's just put it that way, because there is still a ton more to see. It's like this this ending that you're seeing right here, I guess you could say this is like the ending for the regular player. Like this this would satisfy your regular players that would go through the game. They'd be like, yeah, I made it to yeah, I'm so happy. But to the completionist, oh, there's more. There's a lot more. <laughs> As I said, we didn't even collect half the moons in the game. So, despite us seeing the credits right now, we're technically not even halfway through. <laughs> if you can actually believe that. Which is fantastic, because I did not want this game to end when, <laughs> when I reached this point. And there's Peach's Castle, we've already seen at the Mushroom Kingdom. In the distance, we ran through the painting back at the Luncheon Kingdom. But now, we're going to see something quite curious here. You're welcome you for so playing. For playing my game. No problem. It was my pleasure indeed. So, now, I, oh, what the? Those blocks. Those blocks that we've been seeing all around the kingdoms appear to have some cracks in their design now. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, those are one of the things that yeah, I can now travel to the Mushroom Kingdom normally. That's one of the things that I'm going to start in the next part is going there. Because uh, I'll be able to get some backstory in regards to... Uh, well, something. I, I Again, I don't want to don't spoil things too much. Additional Power Moons are in stock at the shop. Yep. Look at that! <laughs> but they aren't a unique moon, as I was describing earlier. Music list has been added to the map screen. This is something that you can use to change the music of your... Like, when you're in a world and walking around, normally you're, you're stuck with the default music, but now you can change it to basically whatever you've heard up to this point. That is another awesome addition. <laughs> and here we are at the Mushroom Kingdom. Peach's Castle. Remember we got that one moon we came here before? Mm-hmm. We're sitting on 350 moons. We're relaxing. Oh, yeah. So calm. So peaceful. Like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. 
But good thing it wasn't, because we saved our <laughs> Tierra P Teach Two Dear Friends. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us! But I've liked their travel so much, I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do! So many hats you need to meet, and I bet we collect even more moon power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new! Ooh. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. I agree. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's castle. Alright. Woo! You found 250 power moons. Now I can reach the dark side of the moon. Dark side of the moon! Oh man! Yeah, so we're actually 100 moons ahead of the moon curve to unlock that at this point, but as I said, we are not even halfway there yet. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. We explore the Mushroom Kingdom in the post-game. Full on moons, hit that checkpoint, we'll be full forever now. 